itabidi sasa tuwe na mjadala na watu ambao wanapeleka makesi kotini kuzuia maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya itabidi tuulizane maswali ni kweli ama si kweli yes itabidi tuulizane maswali haiwezekani ya kwamba Kenya maendeleo ambayo tumekuwa tukingojea miaka nyingi mipango ambayo iko katika katiba ya Kenya mipango imepitishwa katika bunge la Kenya mipango ambayo wananchi wa Kenya wamepigia kura katika manifesto ya chama wamechagua ati watu wachache wawili watatu wameenda kotini wakahongana kotini mpango hiyo ikasimamishwa barabara ikasimamishwa universal health coverage inasimamishwa mambo ya housing inasimamishwa lazima tuwe na mjadala we must ask ourselves ama namna gani yes lazima tuulizane maswali na ndio mimi nataka niseme we are a democracy we will protect the independence of the judiciary what we will not allow is judicial tyranny and judicial impunity that we will not allow that will not happen haiwezekani ya kwamba wakati tunaheshimu uhuru wa mahakama watu wachache watu ambao ni beneficiaries kama wale beneficiaries ambao wamekuwa wakiiba pesa yetu pale NHIF 50% ya pesa ya NHIF zinafujwa na ma, ma hospitali chache wakora chache fake hospitals fake doctors wanafuja pesa ya NHIF tumesema ya kwamba tunabadilisha sheria hawa wabunge wamebadilisha sheria mimi nimeweka kidole imekuwa sheria ya Kenya kwamba sasa tutabadilisha vile mambo ya NHIF inaenda mbele ili tuzuie pesa ya umma isipotee tukawa na digital health bill ambayo sasa itaweka a digital system that will protect resources that are meant for health in Kenya alafu watu wachache ambao wamekuwa wakiiba hiyo pesa wameenda wakatafutana na corrupt judicial officials wakapanga njama ati wazuie ndio waendelee kuiba pesa ya NHIF nusu ya pesa ya NHIF i want to tell you my friends hiyo haiwezi kuendelea sio kama tunaelewana mimi nataka niwaulize mnataka pesa ya ya hospitali iendelee kuibiwa na watu wachache ati kwa sababu wameenda kotini kwenda kuhonga judge ah bana no 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 ya yeah, bana mimi nataka niwatangazie mapema ya kwamba mambo ya watu wachache people with vested interest people who are beneficiaries of the corruption in the in the former NHIF ganging up with corrupt judicial officials to stall the program that is going to make it possible for ordinary citizens to access healthcare so that a few corrupt characters hospitals fake hospitals fake doctors can continue to steal from NHIF i want to tell them it will not happen in kenya again and we will stop it we support the independence of the judiciary but ju corrupt judicial officials working with those who vested interests that are benefiting from money stolen from NHIF who want to perpetuate judicial tyranny and judicial impunity we will deal with them we will fight with them we will not allow them they will not go far mimi nataka niwatangazie mapema 
Mimi ni mtu ambaye naamini mahakama. I respect the judiciary. I respect the independence of the judiciary. But I also believe that the judiciary cannot be abused by a few corrupt judicial officials. Katiba ya Kenya, Article 43, inalazimu serikali to provide housing that is decent to citizens. Inalazimu serikali to provide the highest standards of health care. Inalazimu serikali kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya. Katiba ya Kenya. Hawa wa Kenya, mamilioni, walienda kwa debe, wakapigia kura, manifesto ambayo hiko na program ya housing, hiko na program ya universal health coverage, hiko na program ya ajira ya vijana. Bunge, wakaenda wakapitisha budget, iko na mpango ya housing, iko na mpango ya universal health coverage, iko na mpango ya kupanga ajira ya vijana. Ati alafu, watu wa chache, ambao ni beneficiaries ya ukora, wanaenda kotini, wanaenda kutaka kusimamisha hiyo kazi yote, ati vijana wetu, waendelee kuranda randa, wasipata ya jira. Ati wa Kenya, tusiwapunguzie hawa wenye mapato ya chini kutoka 500 mpaka 300 waendelee kulipa 500 na wao waendelee kuiba hiyo pesa ati wa Kenya waendelee kuishi kwa slums ati wa Kenya wasipate nyumba na hawa hawa ambao wako kotini ni watu wako na medical insurance inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na magari inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na housing inalipwa na wa Kenya je huo ni ungwana Apana. Hiyo apana. Our judiciary we respect you but judicial impunity by corrupt judicial officers must stop in Kenya. We will stop it. And whatever it takes. Kwa sababu sasa hawa wananchi wanataka kujiuliza ile barabara ya ihithe mnataka tujenge ama mnataka tungoje mpaka judiciary watuambie tujenge judiciary wanasema tujenge mnataka tujenge nijenge hiyo barabara ama tungoje hawa watu tujenge barabara bwana mbogwa wewe bwana pies weka pesa ya hiyo barabara tuanze kujenga ndio waje kusumbuana kwa sababu the judiciary must submit itself to the constitution and to the people of Kenya ama na magani mimi rais na hawa wabunge wote ambao tumechaguliwa sisi we submit to the people of Kenya we go to elections we are uh, tuna, tunafanyiwa tunapigiwa msasa yule ambaye amekosa anafukuzwa yule mwingine anapatiwa kazi si kweli sisi wote tuna tunakubaliana so i want to tell all of us those of us who are leaders in the judiciary those of us who are leaders in the executive those of us who are leaders in the legislature we are all subject to the constitution and the people of kenya are sovereign <laughs> tumekubaliana mimi yes. nataka niwaulize watu wa nyandarwa hii program ya housing ambaye itapatia vijana hapa nyandarwa kazi elfu tano niendelee naye ama ningojee hawa watu watupatie ruhusa tuendelee ile program ambayo tumepitisha iko kwa katiba ya Kenya katiba inasema kila mkenya na katiba ndio supreme haikuandikwa na rais katiba iliandikwa na wakenya si kweli katiba inasema every kenyan is entitled to the highest standards of healthcare Number one. Number two. Hawa wa Kenya walienda kwa piga kura. Katika ile manifesto kulikuwa na mambo ya universal health coverage. Ya tatu. Bunge wameenda wakapitisha sheria ine ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya universal health coverage inasonga mbele na wananchi wale wako chini tunapunguza gharama yao kutoka 500 mpaka 300 na tunahakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mkenya tena ataenda kuuza mali yake ili aende kulipa hospitali 
hata kama ni ugonjwa wa saratani hata kama ni ugonjwa wa diabetes hata kama ni ugonjwa wa hypertension sasa kwa mara ya kwanza kila mkenya ataenda ataenda hospitali atibiwe na aende nyumbani bila ya kulipishwa pesa alafu hiyo program yote kuna watu wakora wachache wameenda kotini wakakutana na wengine wakora huko kotini ati wasimamishe waendelee kuiba pesa ya mambo ya afya hiyo mnataka tungojee hiyo maneno tuendelee na hii program ya universal health coverage tupunguze ile nini tuendelee nayo bas sasa maneno ndio hiyo sasa wakitaka kuuliza wakuja waulize wananchi ama namna gani yes kwa sababu we must all be responsible and we must ask act responsibly mwaka mmoja uliopita tumepanga mambo mengi kwa sababu ilikuwa inatupasa tufanye hivyo i want to thank the people of kenya for giving us time to plan properly for our country so that we don't make mistakes that we made before tusifanye makosa ambayo yalifanyika pale mbeleni na nawashukuru sana sasa nataka niwaambie ya kwamba mwaka huu wa 2024 ni ile mwaka hii 2024 ni ile mwaka na mimi nataka tena niwashukuru kwamba katika kupanga haya mambo yote tumeelekeza mawazo yetu na mipango yetu sio kwa mambo ya leo na kesho ni mambo ya usoni na vile Kenya itanawiri tukiwa pamoja